Cheers, some black coffee. Whew. That's coffee. I just realized how much like social media and just seeing things and kind of getting influenced, like we don't even realize, well, I'm not gonna say we, I'm gonna say we, shit. We, me, I, some people, some, we don't even realize how like, are, are, we're altered to think in a certain way. I'm not saying like in some malicious way that if you're scrolling on Twitter, someone's gonna be like, think like this. Like, it's not like that, but say you see a post, right? And the person that posted it is like, oh, F this person, they're a, they're an a-hole, blah, 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 blah. They've already kind of put you in that direction to see them as an a-hole. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, I have something in my eye, bro. Yeah, like it's not like a think like this, but it's kind of it's not giving you a chance to see it in your perspective because it's not a neutral presentation like social media is is rarely neutral where it's like here you go think what you want about this do what you want with this it's like do this don't do this do, you know what i'm saying so i just want to encourage y'all bro like think for yourself that's honestly my biggest takeaway of getting off social media and even just limiting my youtube consumption because on youtube i would go there and like listen to people like talking with advice and stuff like that but i'm like bro when am i gonna start taking my own advice like i don't need to look at other people's advice and their ways of doing things that work for them because at the end of the day like i could tell you how to do something a guru could tell you how to do something but no one is going to know how to tell you what to do that's going to work for you like period like you can get a coach and they can tell you how to eat but at the end of the day you know you best and i think that if we if we take the initiative to just first and foremost get our own opinions and and and, and listen to ourselves i think we'd be a lot better off and this is not also to say like if someone tells you something that is beneficial don't be like F you, you know, like it's only me. I'm not saying that, but I feel like the first opinion that you have, the first, you're like, you should be in charge of how you feel at first. Do you see what I'm saying? And then if you hear something and it aligns with you and you're like, oh, I, I dig that. I like what they're saying. Okay, but don't have no solid opinion and just be influenced by someone else. I was getting influenced by so much stuff. Like, I would eat certain things because I saw that this person ate that and it worked for them. So I'm like, well, I need to, you know, not eat this and like type stuff. And it would be so small. Like I would just see people like the bro, the turkey bacon trend, like everyone around me eats turkey bacon. So I was like, I'm going to die if I keep eating. Okay. I didn't say that, but in my head, I was like, maybe I should stop eating bacon. See if turkey bacon is better for me. And I think it's also healthy to try things that you're curious about. Like I was curious about, hmm, I wonder if turkey bacon would be better for me. I tried it didn't like no i'd rather just eat my bacon in moderation so i stuck to bacon but you know what i'm saying it's not bad to try things out like for a while i was like bro i, I want to see what this vegan life is about i tried it out it's not for me so um yeah at least now i know that it's not for me and when i say let me preface this i'm not a vegan meaning like i'm gonna eat chicken and fish and all this type of stuff but i still eat vegetables plant-based stuff do you see what i'm saying i'm just not gonna completely exclude a certain group of food out of my diet because that's not what works for me but it may work for you or someone else so yeah y'all like life is crazy like it's serious but it's really not that serious just because like there's no one way to do things you know what i'm saying like a millionaire could tell you do this to be a millionaire and you do it and you're not a millionaire like it's because you have to find your own groove like everyone on this earth has a special blueprint for them no one else can guide you tell you how to how, you know what i'm saying like nobody and if you let someone else completely guide you like you're just oblivious and you just have you don't care at all you're just letting someone rule your life are you even living then like, I don't know. I want to get to the end of my life and be like, I like I had the say in what I did. Like, I, I, I was a decision maker. You know what I'm saying? Under God, of course, but I am still a being with a lot of power and, and energy. So I want to be able to make decisions for myself. So, yeah, yo. I hope I'm getting the point across. I've only took a sip of this coffee, so I'm not geeked up off coffee. This is just me right now. Definitely just be weary of being influenced by influencers and this whole this whole era of influencer like bro they're just a person <laughs> trying to tell you something so they can boost their account you know what i'm saying like yeah and i hope y'all could tell like i'm not that type of person like i'm not just telling y'all something so i can get multiple subscribers and like i don't care about this though bro like i've been making youtube videos for 
12, 14, 14, for like 12, 13, 14 years. Like, I don't care about, you feel me? Like, that's not my motive. I'm not gonna say I don't care because if I woke up tomorrow and I had a million subs, I'll be ecstatic. But that's not my motive as to why I get on here and say things. It's generally because I'm trying to help people. And you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I hope y'all having a blessed day, man. We out here, we outside. I'm about to go to class. I got this video done in less than 20 minutes. You know, I don't like to rush my vids. Like, I'll, I'll record as long as it takes for me to get out my point but it worked out my face is so itchy right here i don't know why and i kept looking to this i kept looking this way because i come on here yeah i don't have a barber i mean I, I go to barbers but i always just feel like i can cut my own hair bro like i'll go to a barber and i'll be like i could do this it's just that i think i just fell out of my groove like i just wasn't feeling it like i wasn't motivated to cut my hair but yeah, and it's by no means perfect, um, but that's it's a journey. You feel what I'm saying? It's a it's a journey. <laughs> it's a journey, man. I've been cutting my hair since I was like 15, so and I'm 22 now, about to be 23. So yeah, I've been cutting my hair for a minute, but yeah, don't look back now, Christian. You know you came too far, man, with these cuts. So keep going. But I mean, on the camera, it looks blurry. Like it looks like I faded my stuff clean. You feel me? You got the got the polo color on okay I, at this point this is just me feeling myself but yeah all right i'm dipping out i'm uh, i'm gonna edit this later i took like a couple sips of my coffee but honestly i don't want to no more so that's the end of that